Hello there, my name is Dismas and uh, this is another Blended Daily Tip, quick daily tip. And today we're going to be looking at how to add a very small details to your models. And uh, yeah, let's dive in faster. Uh, so let's say you have an object like this. And uh, let's say you're creating an, a piece of hard surface and you wanted to add bolts and uh, things like that. Uh, let's, let's just use maybe a cube here. Let's, let's say we wanted to add <coughs> um, bolts uh, screws on every corner here uh, without using the boolean modifier because that would take a lot of time. Uh, so to do it faster, I'll just use the mirror modifier and, uh, because that's how I would usually I would you do it anyway. So I'll delete all the other sides that I don't need uh, that I can use the mirror modifier to uh, kind of duplicate. So I'll do. I will add uh, the mirror modifier I, just so we can see what we are doing and add uh, random colors and cavity uh, so that we can see what we are doing easily. So I want to add uh, a screw, I don't know, if it's called a screw I think. Is it a screw? Yeah, uh, yeah you will see what I'm doing. So if I wanted to add it here, uh, instead of modeling it outside and then using a mirror mod uh, sorry, a boolean modifier to add it there, uh, you can subdivide, add a subdivision like this and uh, use the bevel uh, vertex. I, if you saw the last quick tip, I should know how to do this. I, the shortcut is Control shift b and uh, it will create this diamond uh, bevel. Just add a, a subdivision, it will subdivide uh, the vertex into more vertices and then you can increase uh, the number of segments to get something like this. Uh, but uh, we want it to be circular and uh, the screw should be circular uh, then so to make it circular you just need to play around with the uh, with the profile here uh, it won't give you a perfect circle but uh, you just need something close to a perfect circle so let's say something if you had it something like this that that would still be enough and uh, then to make it perf perfectly circle just hit f to convert this into an end gun and then use the shortcut control out shift control sh sorry shift out s and then one uh, to turn this into a sphere uh, i don't know if there is a, a tool for this here but i've always used uh, the shortcut so and I don't think there is one for that. So the shortcut is Shift Alt S and then one uh, to give it a factor of one. Otherwise, you can just use this slider here. So now that we have that turned into a perfect circle, let me reduce this uh, to the size of the scroll we want and maybe push it uh, around here. Uh, you never want to have something like this uh, so an end gun that uh, kind of bends into itself. So you just make sure if you have that, uh, just connect this like that so that so that uh, you kind of eliminate that bending like that. Otherwise, you will have a few issues when you add uh, modify other modifiers on top of that. So let's create. So we can extrude this up and then bevel it. Uh, with Ctrl B and then add more resolution to make it a bit rounded. Maybe you can push it down a bit like that. I will just scale it in a bit. So if you turn on smooth shading and uh, turn on auto smooth uh, to remove uh, those shading artifacts. Uh, so we can subdivide this and uh, create our screw. So I think it's called a, a Phillips screw. That is, that gives you kind of a star shape here. That has a star shape here. So what I will do, I will kind of create that star shape by uh, merging some of these vertices here. So I'll merge that to that, this to that, and uh, this to that. You know what, let me just do it directly and because uh, this is a small detail, uh, we don't need to spend too much time on so uh, since we have our selection set we can insert this using I and then Alt is uh, it seems I have proportional editing turned on so I'll turn it off by hitting O on my keyboard or go up here uh, to turn uh, that off 
uh, then out is to push these along their normal, so like uh, that. So depending on how detailed you want to be with this, you can make it more accurate and uh, get uh, the star you want. But you can see we have now a star on every a face except uh, these faces. So if you wanted to get this uh, to that face, to this face, uh, it shouldn't be that hard. So you can just select uh, this and uh, Shift D, uh, rotate it to orient it uh, towards the face. I'll move it to position and make sure that uh, this edge aligns uh, with the edge, with the face of the mesh of that aligns with the face, so something like that. And uh, if you watch my previous tutorial, you know we can use booleans uh, in edit mode, so you can select that, unite union, and uh, we have that done. So if we turn on the subdivision surface here, you can see how we get uh, them smooth, we make them smooth. Uh, the problem is that uh, we have uh, we have lost edges, the sharp edges, the, the sharp corners here. So if you want to see how to make these sharp corners, uh, there is a tr to retain these sharp corners while you have the subdivision surface uh, without even adding, without even using the bevel tool here. Uh, you can uh, you can watch my previous tutorial. I, I'll be leaving it in the description. But uh, I want to end this video here uh, because I think it's uh, already hit uh, the maximum uh, time I wanted to hit for. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you.